Welcome, welcome to the channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity, here to give you a collective energy reading, quickie. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, there's a rash of colds, head colds and things going around. Everyone I talk to is either getting over one or in the middle of missed the one. So I do hope that you all are, excuse me, I can't even get it out. You are all well, okay? And stay well. <laughs> um, make sure you smash that like button. Comment in the comment section. Let me know if it re resonates with you. I read the comments, y'all. I do. I read my comments. So I appreciate you letting me know if it resonates. Because I don't know where these messages are coming from. This is collective. I don't know who energy I'm pulling. Sometimes I feel like I do. And it, and it ain't exactly what I be thinking it is. <laughs> it's loud. Just say what spirit let me know. You know what I'm saying? So let's begin real quick. Let's see what we do. Hey, you doing too much. You doing too much. All right. Spirit, give me a message from my collective. What do they need to know and or be aware of? Okay, we got nine of pentacles. Tell me more. We got the eight of swords. Okay. Okay. I like that energy already. Because it's the eight of swords in reverse. Okay. We got the king of wands. Somebody is extremely determined. They are not stuck in their head. Ooh, and they healing. Ah, oh, suck it, suck it now. Ooh. Wow, this is some beautiful, okay. All right, so listen. Bet. Chala. Luna. I'm going to have to lock you up with your daddy. All right, so listen. First card up is the Nine of Pentacles. That's independence. That's doing financially well. That's blessings. That's sitting up on high. And, you know, you sipping your margarita. You're on your vacation. Your bills is paid. You're relaxing. You're going to the spa treatment a little later. Stick your feet in the sand a little bit later. You're going to have some beautiful drinks in the afternoon and some dinner at night and maybe some entertainment. Okay? I don't know what that's got. Why I got that? scenario real quick but that's what i got and then i got the eight of swords meaning your troubles are no more whatever you were worrying about it's it's not it's nothing to worry about and then this um excuse me the hidden energy is this king of wands so either there's a masculine energy that's determined that got their stuff together that's courageous that's gonna pursue and uh, not chase pursue properly um either that or you're standing in your power and your confidence and you're pursuing your goals right so take it how it resonates and then we got the challenge and the lesson is is the hierophant which is the lessons applying the lessons you oh wow this is such beautiful energy so applying the lessons you've learned all the knowledge, mystical or practical, just putting it all together. And then the likely outcome is the empress, the abundance. This is beautiful energy. This is what I've been looking for since the new year. And it's like, it's coming in. This is what I'm getting. It's coming in. The seven of cups is here. Now, the seven of cups is here. It's like, you got a lot of options. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different avenues you can go, a lot of different things you can do, but your blessings are here. It's like, well, which one do I choose? Because, or how can I scale them? Or, you know what I mean? Add them together. Oh, and I'm sitting here holding my hand this whole time, the Ten of Cups in the upright. Happiness. Okay, so the energy... The energy is shifted. Like, I don't even want to touch. <laughs> I don't even want to touch this, but I'm going to go further. I'm going to go a little further. But the energy is good, collective. This is, uh, like, it's almost like I don't want to peek below the surface because <laughs> I don't want to see no ugliness. 
I mean, we all have some things sometimes, but this is really, really good. Like, I really can't complain. You know, somebody is making good choices in their life, and their blessings are fruiting. Oh, man, I got me hyped because, I mean, I ain't know, you know, I never know what to expect. And sometimes it goes start good and go left. This is going great, okay? This is excellent. This is the energy we want to start and finish the year with and go forward into the next year. You feel me? Like, this is what we all desire, right? We desire to have the financial comforts and abundance that we need to sustain ourselves, to not be in worry energy, to be confident to apply all the knowledge that we've acquired before to bless ourselves, to be in that abundant stage, just to be accepting more blessings. That's what life and aging is about. Like when you get older, you're supposed to get smarter and wiser, not dumber, not slower, not stuck. You're supposed to grow. This is indicating growth. This is also indicating with the pregnant um, um, a, a empress, that you are pregnant with more possibilities, more avenues in life, more blessings in life, more things to be grateful for, more things to be happy about. This is beautiful. Oh, my God, y'all. Whoever's experiencing this, I got to hear about it. Like, you need to tell me a long, lengthy, positive story. I want to hear about it because this is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Oops. Well, that I can't refuse. Okay, so it's a masculine energy here. All right, so <clears throat> so this is a masculine energy. And it, and it could be somebody within your family or somebody taking care of their family. Um, with this, you know, when I get this tree of life, it's always giving me roots. Your DNA, you know, how far you go down to the, all the way to your an ancestral line, you know. So it gives me family energy. But it's something about a masculine energy with that um, nine of pentacles. Or maybe somebody could just be observing you. If that's not you, then that's somebody observing your independence. Tell me more about this A of swords and reverse spirit. What? Oh, wisdom. Look at that. Mm. And the serenity pair just propped up to my head. You know, um, it's like a wisdom to... What's that? Let, me, let me pull it up. I just want to make sure I say it right because I like... I, I really do want to get it right. Yes, prayer for the, sh the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. That's what this made me feel like. Because somebody coming out of the Eight of Swords energy, that's a uh, energy of I'm not, I don't need to worry no more. You know what I mean? Like I've done all I can do. There's, there's no room, no need for worry. So I'm going to walk with wisdom. I'm, that's what this is. Oh, my God. All right. Tell me more, Spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -mm. Somebody's blessings coming through. Somebody's putting in that work. That means somebody's working on themselves. I was just talking to my women's group, and we were talking about... I, this one lady, I just found out she has cancer. I don't know how bad it is. I, I was just coming to the reality of what we were all gathering about. And, you know, I talked to her about what we talk here. And that's about surrender. Like, I'm in a stage of my own surrender where I'm just, you know, things I don't see changing and I can't change in my life. I'm letting that go. There's no reason for me to hold on to anything anyone or any circumstance I can't benefit from or benefit to. Like it has to be reciprocal for me, right? I'm one of those people like I'm going to cheer you on and we're going to do well together, right? But if we're not going to grow together, then I don't know what we're doing, right? And 
So I surrender. I surrender those connections that aren't serving me. I surrender overthinking anything. I surrender worrying about anything. I surrender. I surrender. And when I do that, I feel better. The crazy part is you don't know to do that right away. People tell you all the time. You even tell yourself all the time. Yeah, I'm going to let that go. I ain't worried about that. But when you actually realize you have, it's a different type of feeling. That's what I'm going to say. Because everybody's uh, moment is going to feel different. And when you surrender it, you say, God, take this. Universe, creator, do what you will. I trust you. And every time I do that, I get blessings. But only once I've done all I know I can do. Tell me more. Yeah, so this King of Wands. I feel like I'm reading for a masculine possibly. But this King of Wands has choices to make. You have options. Or being that you're surrendering and you're walking in your courage, you can go different routes and do different things. A lot of times it all brings us back to our purpose. Right. It's just what what direction will I take right now? Because every direction, every decision is pregnant with more possibilities for other decisions. OK, life don't really steer us wrong. It's the choices we make along the way. We could choose to go backwards as much as time will allow, but we can't stay still. We got to keep going and we got to make choices. But we got ultimately we have to be brave about the choices that we make. Tell me more. Okay, yeah, so the challenge and the lessons come in clearer with all the knowledge and the wisdom you acquired and the understanding and making that work for you so that you can be in a better position. Mm. What was that? Wow, and look at that. The gift. And that is this empress. We are walking into abundance and we are walking into our gifts. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we are walking into it. Bottom of the deck, yes. And we've been heading in that direction for some time now. Spirit is saying it's time. It's divine timing too. It may not come at the exact moment you think it's going to come. It may not feel in the exact way you think it's going to feel. But when it comes, it's going to envelop you like the wrapping of a present. You're going to be like, oh, oh, this is for me? All of this? And the spirit's going to say, yeah, this is your reward for being obedient. This is for your, your reward for getting out the way and letting us do what we need to do. This is your reward for putting in the effort that you made already. This is your reward for living in integrity. This is your reward. And you get to have that joy, that peace, that happiness, the lifestyle. Like, I don't know if y'all can feel it or experience it yet, but I know personally, this year has been different than many in many before. Now I felt this feeling, similar feelings, uh, many years ago, you know, pre-pandemic many years ago, right? But now it's like a feeling is back with a vengeance. Like it's different. Why? Because I'm in a different stage of growth and and, and time in my life. But uh, that stagnancy that that pandemic had brought for many of us, it's kind of, it's all broken up. The spell, the veil, whatever you want to call, has been lifted. And we feel, I feel, I could speak for myself and many others I've heard from, we all feel different. We all feel encouraged. I hope that you're out there feeling encouraged. I feel. I hope that you're feeling blessed right now. We're going to leave this energy where it is. We're going to know that we're going to be recognized for our gifts. We're going to re- be given more things to be grateful for. We're going to walk in a state of gratitude so that we could be happy. We could feel blessed. And we could take our rightful position as this is what I deserve. I deserve my acknowledgement. I deserve my I deserve my flowers while I'm here. And I deserve to be happy ultimately. So listen, that ten of cups you desire is here. So take it how it resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you would like a personal reading, you can go to clarityimpress at gmail.com 
email me to get on my books and we'll talk uh, further at that point. But um, yeah, in the meantime, Collective, I love all y'all. So peace.